I'm going to show you not just one, but two ways to make the Aztec Sun Bar Set. here and welcome to my macrame world here on Bush Not Macrame. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys two different ways to make an Aztec sun bar senate. I would say this is a pretty unique senate pattern that is not widely used in macrame projects but you definitely should think of incorporating this into your macrame projects because it looks so visually appealing. It is intricate, it is symmetrical, and looks great on almost any macrame project. For more beginner-friendly macrame resources, you can head on over to bushnap.com for a free 50 Knots and Senates ebook download, macrame patterns, and also a two-for-one premium core deal. And with all of that said, let's get started. To demonstrate this knot, I'm using a strand of 140 centimeter cord and then also a 250 centimeter strand of cord. The 250 centimeter strand of cord, which is the longer cord, is what I have attached here onto the dowel with a large head knot. What we're going to do with the slightly shorter cord at 140 centimeters is we're going to pull it through underneath the large head knot. So pull down the large head knot and then weave the shorter strand of cord through the large head knot. Then make sure the shorter cord end on both ends the cords are even and then we're going to tighten the large head knot again. Now to make our very first Aztec sun bar knot what we're going to do is we're going to crisscross the shorter cord ends on top of each other over the pink cords. Then we're going to take the longer pink cords and we're going to make a half hitch knot on both sides with the crisscross cords in the middle as anchor cords. So the reason why the beige cords here are shorter is because they are anchor cords throughout this knot. And then the pink cords are longer because they are the working cords. Now pull on the cords to tighten this knot. Now on the right side, because the pink cord is the working cords, we're going to make a vertical lark's head knot. So we're going to start off with what looks like a half inch knot, then make the knot in the opposite direction to finish off this vertical lark's head knot. Now we're going to repeat the same knot on the left side, mirroring what we just did on the right. Now if you need to slow this video down, you can toggle the playback speed on the bottom right hand corner of the video. Now once the vertical Lark's head knots are complete on both sides, crisscross the shorter anchor cords on top of each other again, and then using the long cords at the back, make another half hitch knot on both sides. Pull on the anchor cords and the working cords to tighten this knot. And now the first Aztec sun bar knot is complete. Now to turn this into a senate, we're going to continue repeating this pattern downwards, starting with the side vertical lark head knots again.
Now continue repeating this pattern downwards a few more times. Once complete, this is what the pattern should look like. This is the Aztec Sun Bar Senet. For the second Aztec Sun Bar Senet, we're going to repeat the same thing. You want the cord attached onto the dowel as the longer working cords, and then the cord you weave through as the shorter anchor cords. We're going to start the pattern similar to the first version. We're going to crisscross the anchor cords again and make a half hitch knot on both sides. Then same as before, we're going to make a vertical lark's head knot on the right side with the same working cord and anchor cord. Now here comes the difference in this version versus the first one. We're going to make a consecutive vertical lark's head knot directly underneath on the right side. What we're essentially doing is elongating this pattern. It's more of a round circle pattern on the first version, and now we've added a second vertical lark's head knot, turning this from a circle into an oval-shaped pattern. So now on the left side, we're going to make another two vertical lark's head knots. Now crisscross the anchor cords on top of each other and finish off with a half hitch knot on both sides. Now repeat this pattern a few more times below. And once done, this is what the pattern should look like.
and you have now learned the two ways to make an Aztec Sunbar Senate. The only difference between the second version versus the first one is that I added an extra vertical lark's head knot on both sides. By adding that extra vertical lark's head knot, instead of a circle-like pattern, we now have an oval-like pattern. I hope this knot tutorial has inspired you to explore the world of intricate knotting and experiment with new patterns. If you enjoy learning new knots or unique knot patterns, make sure you let me know in the comment section below so I can make more videos just like this. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also click that subscribe button if you want to learn more macrame knots and sentence. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.